Hier auf dem Mobile World Congress I found a very interesting company called VCNC, based in China, and they do optical sensors for fingerprint readers. You all might know, for example, if you once have been in the States and on the airport, you will have got your fingerprint scanned. These are optical systems like that, normally very big, very expensive, hundreds of dollars. That's why nowadays we are using in smartphones other systems. You might know, for example, from Samsung phones or like here from the iPhone, and they are not working optically, but electrical. Meaning, this is kind of a high sensitive um, 500 PPI, so very high capacity, uh, uh, capacitive screen. So meaning it's kind of the same like on the touch screen, it's exactly the same technology, capacitive screen, capacity sensor for fingerprint readers, but just with a higher resolution. That's why it's reacting on the flash going onto it and measuring the different um, things on your finger where it's going high and low and you know what I mean. That's why you can trick out these kind of uh, sensors, capacitive sensors, very easily. For example, I hope you can see this is a piece of rubber only with a fingerprint on it. Just press it gently down here and you have your iPhone unlocked. Not secure at all because of the technology they're using. That's why it's better to use optical sensors, but as I told you, at the moment they're very big and here we have a smartphone sensor working optically with a new technology using a matrix pinhole image sensor below a CMOS sensor. CMOS sensors is right away here every smartphone is using CMOS sensors right here, but now we're talking about a 2000 PPI density, even four times higher than on the iPhone at the moment, and just 1.5 millimeters thick. So as you can see here, it's very cheap to build, it's very small, so exactly that what we need for smartphones, and especially, it's not only working if you have wet fingers or something, uh, but it's working through materials like glass, for example. So you can have a smartphone with a totally closed uh, surface of glass and build that sensor down under that way and nevertheless is it's uh, scanning your finger with an optical um, with an optical sensor down there how does it look like how does it work here we have that prototype um, on the PC over there and now I will go with my fingerprint here this is something you all might have seen in movies for example so this is a typical fingerprint so but it's that high from the resolution that you will have kind of a magnifying effect like uh, on a magnifier. 2000 PPI you will see not only closer but more precisely. Look for those white dots for example. These are um, sweat uh, glands, meaning these are things nobody else will have in that situation, in that constellation. It's very unique on the world and very much more precise than only measuring these uh, ups and downs over here and especially if you're dead or your fingers got cut off or something like that these pores will close so uh, all these sweat pores will not be in this case like like that way or totally gone so you can't fake it so it's not possible to fake this with a rubber like this one as you see he sees nothing you have that rubber fingerprint over here and he sees, okay, these are sweat points, but by just touching it over here on the, on the fair, but uh, uh, he's uh, realizing that this is not a real living finger, so not working at all. And that's, I'm very secure in this case, and that's why I wanted to show you, because this, I hope at least, is something we all could see in smartphones of the future, and that's uh, what uh, a Mobile World Congress is good for too. Yeah, hope I could um, help you a little bit with this new te technology to make it understand why I hope this is coming to smartphones in the future. Thanks for watching and please be so kind to recommend my channel and to subscribe to it. Thanks for that in advance and take care. Bye.